You ever feel like you need a little extra helping hand with your projects? A helping handy, or a TGH hack stand in this case. I just picked this up from TGH and let's review it together. Let's see what we can do. So TGH came out with this, this thing, the hack stand. It is an art articulated helping hand essentially as you can see it's got balls it's got clamps it's got ball clamps and it's got handles on the ball clamps so you tighten these down boom it's it's locked in pretty good uh, my table is actually the the most wobbly part of this but as you can see it's got you know threaded balls it's got threaded standoffs and it has movable articulatable arms so you can really do about anything with this here you know if you if you need something to like hold your belt buckle yeah so it's, it articulates and it has the ability to actually hold a whole lot of weight so what tgh figures you might use this for is to hold a rig or really anything that you could bolt into this this ball on the end and it's got a threaded stud and the stud is also threaded on the end so will that be a tapped end and you've got these little guys and these little guys we can push them towards the camera there that is an adapter for a skid plate on a lot of rigs and which way you could actually go into the side of your skid plate you could go into the bottom of your skid plate there's all sorts of ways you could probably figure out some way to put a clamp on that as well so it's more like a you know that sort of thing i i will say that the instructions maybe could use a little extra work but it is a very simple thing to assemble so it's pretty self-explanatory how it goes together you can at least see on the main ball clamps you got this threaded bolt it, bolts are all threaded and it goes through the two red pieces of clamp and they clamp onto the balls and then you got this this ball clamp handle here and there you go you tighten it down and it's holding it's holding your balls tight so let's see let's see if i can figure out how to put a vehicle on this thing just like so uh we got these screws that come with it it's going to be m3 for pretty much any of my rigs as far as our skid plates are concerned so if i just kind of like get this close on the table since my rig is already assembled i think a lot of times you would be using this when your rig is not assembled and you would assemble your rig around this item there we go just get that kind of close and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to run a couple of screws through this and yeah maybe it'll hold we'll see i don't know we have a couple of other choices though like i said i could screw it into the sides that would be one option but let's just let's just do it this way so we've got these long screws are they going to be too long i guess we'll find out nah it should be all right for that one there we go oh they got these little rubber washers too and that'll just keep it from falling out you know kind of keeping it keeping it attached so to assemble the hack stand i used a 7 16 a half inch and then a fits all and the fits all is just for essentially these turnbuckles or whatever you want to call them uh there's another name for fits all i don't remember uh, crescent wrench people call it there we go and yeah i'm gonna go through my parts and we'll find a different size screw i picked this up because honestly there's a lot of times when i'm working on a rig and it's just the rig is in my way if you know what i mean maybe you don't but a lot of times i'll be working on the rig and it, it's just kind of difficult because it's it's like you got to flip it around a bunch you, you know maybe screw things up here and there you drop things on the table you know it, it can just become a little unwieldy all right so i'm guessing i should have tightened this because as you can see that's moving around but that's why we've got 
I believe is that the seven sixteenths. Can I get it in there? Yes, I can. And am I tightening it or loosening it? I just loosened it. There we go. That should be good. Now, let's see what happens. Tighten those down a little more. All right, that one's already bottomed out. And that means that that one will be bottoming out soon as well. Well, it's it's probably going to hold. It's a little it's a little loose. I might choose a slightly different way to hold it, but I'm trying to figure this out. We'll figure it out together. And what is this? A 2.5 millimeter. So to use this, I would recommend a fits all, a one half, a 7 16 7 and a 2.5 millimeter or whatever your skid plate screws are going to have. But there we go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Need to work on this side. Let's work on this side. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Need to tighten it up down here. We got some jam nuts. That's probably the half inch. Is that the half inch? That is the half inch. Just need to make sure your jam nuts are jammed. Jam the radar. It'll take me a little time to get used to this thing, but okay, I'm getting this one tightened again. So the 7 16th, I think it's the 7 16th. Yep. There we go. Boom. Be a little easier if the rig wasn't already assembled. And again, maybe uh, you could attach it to the skid plate on the side as well. I, th I think that may be what I would prefer to do long term on most of my builds. But, oh, and this, this thing, this handle, you pull it out and you can rotate it without tightening it or loosening it. That way you can always get a good angle. Mm -hmm. And really, I think... You know, it's almost overkill in articulation and you could just use this end. So what I might choose to do is get this more upright, depending on how high I want to work. Maybe that's too upright. <laughs> and then from there, you can kind of adjust the rig exactly how you want it, like so. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I do see that there are ways where it will kind of loosen on these if you don't get them tight enough. So long term, it may be good to have like some Loctite sort of situations. Yup. Yeah. Well, I kind of wish that I needed to work on this rig, but this rig is ready to go. There's really nothing that I need to do. But if there was, what would it be? Mm. Shocks are already good. Uh, oh, I need to tighten up this servo on the front. Let's try that. Rink. Oh, I can even let it rest on the table slightly. And then we tighten that and it's just going to stand. How cool is that? Oh man, this servo is about to fall out. <laughs> All right. I don't think 2.5 is the right size. It is not. That's a three. Looking for a two. That's a 1.5. We'll get there. Looking for a two. There's a two. All right. So is the mount on the axle tight? It is not. There's a steel or aluminum axle. I'm going to just go ahead and now we can get our servo out of the way. Oh, I need to change my angle so I can get to it a little easier. Boom. We need to tighten down our servo mount. Easy peasy. Oh, that one was kind of loose on that side. Mm. Is that the plastic case? That is the plastic case, isn't it? Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Well. Don't over tighten on the plastic. We don't want that. There we go. Oh, 
Ooh. It looks like my steering arm is hitting my pumpkin. That's probably why I got loose, just from being rocked constantly back and forth. If I want to solve that, it looks like I'm going to have to shim my servo forwards ever so slightly. Oh, this is a this is a V1 SHV800. On the V2, we actually did move our case ears like a millimeter and a half, which would have solved that. Mm, good to know. Good to know. Don't use an old style servo on your own rigs because you fix things on them at some point. Cool. Well, what else can I do? Let's see. It's spinning smoothly. We can find our radio. It's hanging up somewhere right there. the ground there we go hey it's running sweet all right well I did what I needed to do that I didn't even realize that I needed to do and I will say that the hex stand was nice to use maybe a little overkill for just tightening up a servo but if i'm going to be assembling a rig from scratch this thing is gonna be super handy so i like it i like it i think it's gonna take a little bit more fiddling with to figure out exactly what the best use is like when should i pull it out and when do i not need to pull it out but that's you know that's something that comes with time like any new tool so there you go. Let me know in the comments if you have heard of these, if you have seen these, or if you got one yourself and how you like it. I think that this is going to be great. Honestly, like, you know, if you're screwing something in and you drop your screw and it's like this, then you don't have to pick up your rig to pick up the screw in most cases. You can actually just, you know, you can get to your work surface. That's really nice. It does just open up your work surface completely. Ooh, this could be handy for a little laptop too. Yeah, I'm gonna think about maybe drilling a, a hole so that I don't have this clamp because the clamp itself has a little bit of movement in it and it's clamped underneath to a, there's a piece of sheet metal and that sheet metal is just deforming so I'm not gonna be able to really tighten it down. But if I had a stud coming through, I could really clamp that down and then use it that way. So yeah, just thoughts, thinking out loud here. All right, I really like this. This is going to be a very nice tool for assembling things. Well, leave your comments or questions down below. We'll do our best to get to them. As always, thanks for tuning in and have a great day. You've made it to the end of the video. Hopefully that means you liked what you saw. If you want to help out the channel, you can like, subscribe, and definitely comment down below. We would like to hear new ideas from you, so be sure you let us know what you'd like to see. There are some other suggestions probably floating by my head right now that you can check out. And otherwise, we appreciate your support and your help growing the channel.